here we are, the beautiful medicine bowls. And today, our video is a little bit more of an announcement than an encouragement. We want to let you know the plans that are coming together as we lead our church into the near future. There's been meetings and discussions and research about thinking what's coming for us, especially concerning our thinking for Sunday mornings. And as situations continue to unfold, we're going to monitor what's happening and how we can respond. But for now, we want to let you know the overall approach to us as a church. We're going to continue to aim throughout this whole process for good communication so that you're in the know. Now, of course, with any plan, some will say we're too risky and we should be more cautious. Others, they'd prefer to speed things up. And so I want to thank you for your graciousness and ask you to continue to pray for a unity. We're taking two things into consideration. First, we're instructed to obey our government and function in this country in a way that's beneficial to the common good of all. That means that we're following the recommendations regarding COVID-19 situation so that we can be socially responsible. Second, we're also the church and inherently we're communal. We know that we need one another to grow in our faith and that means meeting together. Now having the government limit our gatherings to 50 people does not take away our ability to function well as a church. In fact, it stretches us to think well about who we are and how we operate. Jesus has given us our purpose to know him and to make him known and we eagerly anticipate much growth in our church. So for our immediate future, first, we're going to put together a COVID response task force. And this group, they'll research and implement all the health and social protocols that are required for the times that we do meet together. Of course, it'll include all of the sanitization and flow of traffic and distancing measures and everything related to our health as a church. And the required COVID control plans will all be written and followed whether we're meeting in the building or in outdoor locations. Our next step will be to organize a number of periodic events where we can bring people together for both social gatherings as well as times to grow and to learn together. Now, we know that not all of you will be able to or be comfortable with meeting together, but we do want to provide opportunities for those of you who are able and really miss those connections. We commit to continuing an online presence to keep us growing and connected and unified. As of now, that's through our Sunday morning services, our Tuesday and Thursday encouragement videos with our doorstep stories, our Wednesday drop-in prayer for Zoom time. And for the foreseeable future, we're not going to begin a Sunday in-person gathering. We're planning to move in that direction, but not quite yet. And there's many reasons for this. There's the practical considerations, such as setting up systems to have maximum 50 people come at any given time. For now, Nursery and Kids Quest is discouraged, which would limit some of our families. We're to discourage anyone who's deemed vulnerable from coming. Visiting one another before and after the service is limited, and so that'll lead us to dismissing everyone after the service so visiting can take place outdoors. Yes, we can overcome all of these obstacles, but for the time being, we're going to stick with our online services and we won't yet be opening our church buildings on Sunday morning. Now, as well as the periodic gatherings, our online presence, you're encouraged to have smaller groups of people that you can connect with in person. Small communities play a significant part of who we are as a church. And so, each of us, you can have a few friends that walk with you through life, some of them because they're natural connections, Others walk through life together simply because we're connected as a family of God, with Him as our Father, and in that way no one's left out, and everyone's stretched by people who are different than themselves. Connecting with other believers through your gospel community or other contacts in the church is going to become increasingly important, and you're encouraged to find someone to regularly invite the Sunday service, invite them over to your place and watch online. Being together with other believers and utilizing those relationships to grow in your faith are a large part of our focus of the church in the coming months. 
We do look forward to the day when we can meet together as a church on Sunday mornings. Again, because we're a large church, we know it'll be different. It may take some time before we all meet together. We do know that Jesus wants to build his church. We do know that the Holy Spirit wants to empower us on the mission that we've been given. And we do know that we will thrive as we faithfully give our lives to Jesus. We remember that we're on a journey to be transformed. And that means always growing. And that may, may not mean going back to how things used to be, but always moving forward in how Jesus wants to change us into something new. So, thank you for your graciousness and continue to pray for unity and strength for us as a church.